Hey guys, welcome back. Today is going to be a highlight and contour video. We're keeping the eyes basic and I decided to pair it with a peachy pink lip, but it's all about the face. If you want to know one of my methods to flawless highlighting and contouring, then please keep on watching. I just want to mention my busted knuckles from boxing because they make quite an appearance. I'm priming my skin with a hydrating primer. Products sit better and also blend better when the skin is hydrated. Even for oily skin, hydration is key to long-lasting makeup. Oily skin types will create more oil to compensate for the lack of hydration, which causes makeup to slide off. And dry skin types will get dry patches, which causes makeup to flake. Just get hydrated, kiddos. I'm taking my favorite concealer right now in one shade lighter than my skin and just applying it lightly to the areas I want to conceal. This method will use concealer to conceal skin blemishes only and not to add light to the face. You will see later on, we don't need a lot of product to create flawless looking skin. We want the skin to look like skin. Next, I'm adding depth to my face with darker stick foundations. I use the darkest one on my jawline and neck and then the lighter one around the forehead, hollows of the cheeks and down the sides of my nose. The point of contouring is really finding the contours of your face and making them more defined or slightly altering the shape. You can do so much with makeup. To make everything melt into one, I apply foundation that is my shade and patting it on. You don't want to swipe as this will just erase the hard work you just did. As you can see, the contoured areas are still darker and the light highlighted areas are still lighter and that's what you want. To set all of that in place, I'm using a translucent powder and a dense blush brush and patting that all over my face, making sure to get everywhere. A true translucent powder will literally just set the creams and liquids we just applied. It will not add colour. This next step is where the true contouring and highlighting comes to life with pressed powders. As I mentioned before, concealer and foundation was not my way of adding light and dark to the face. This is. I'm taking the lighter shade in the Morphe palette and adding that to the areas we want to bring forward. Notice how when I apply it to the tops of my cheekbones and chin, they immediately pop. I'm just going in with that foundation brush and making sure everything is blended. To contour, I'm using the second darkest shade and really hitting the sides of my face, the hollows of my cheeks, the temples and the sides of my forehead. I'm really swirling the brush in the product then tapping it off. When working with powders, this is the way not to get it everywhere and to make it blend well rather than looking muddy. You will notice now I am swirling and swiping my brush as we have the translucent powder as a barrier. It won't move or take off any of the products we just had on the I added my brows and a tiny bit from the Too Faced So Bunny Bronzer to my lids and then to my cheeks. Can you believe I actually cut out my brow clip? To know how I did my brows, every single video before this features them, so be sure to check them out. For the lips, I'm using this NARS pencil to line them and fill them in. Then I'm just going over that with the OCC Lip Tar in Memento. Mm -hmm. 
To finish off the face, we want to put the glow back into it as we use a lot of matte powders. So I'm just adding it to the areas of the face that keep the light. And we're finished. Let me know if this tutorial was helpful and informative. Please give it a thumbs up if you thought it was. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.